Although it is impossible to actually increase the size or the resolution of an image after you have taken the picture, we can fake it, right, in Photoshop? Now there's a new technology in Photoshop to fake it better. And let me show you how that works. So first of all, update your Photoshop to the latest version if you're a Creative Cloud member. This feature is only available in Adobe Photoshop CC and not in previous versions like CS6. So if you're a CC member, just update your Photoshop. Then what you need to do, let's have a look at this image first. Let's have a look. This is what? 500 by 333 pixels, very small image. It's not pretty much usable, but in case you have to use it and you have to enlarge it, Here's how you usually do it, right? You go to image and then image size. You kind of increase it. For example, let's increase it to 4,000. Let's have a look at the preview. This just doesn't look right. This looks fake, right? Even if you try to change to like bicubic smoother enlargement, it's really, really soft and not worth it. So what you need to do, hit cancel. We're not gonna do it this way. Go to edit, preferences, and inside of preferences, there's something called technology previews. Now, if you're using a Mac, that would be Photoshop and then preferences, okay? Click on technology previews and make sure you check enable preserve details 2.0 upscale. That's the new technology. All right, so check that, hit okay. Now this time, when you go to image, image size, you will see that option. Have a look, preserve details 2.0. Check that, select that, and then 4,000 pixels. And then when you, once you look at the preview, let's have a look at this. This is so much better than the previous. And also you get one extra slider. This new technology gives you that slider to control the noise. If you want it with the noise, take it all the way to the left. If you want it totally without the noise, take it all the way to the right. But that makes it completely soft. So we can control that. For me, this value is fine. Let's have a look. This is much better than something like automatic. Let's have a look. This is very, very fake. So let's go ahead and choose preserve details 2.0. Reduce noise value is fine, 19% works for me. Hit okay, and it does a pretty good job. Now it's pretty much usable, right? So that's the new technology, preserve details 2.0. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope this video helped you, and if it did, make sure to give us a like, and also do not forget to subscribe, and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss a thing. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Thank you so much for watching.